Hello and welcome to section 5, practicing the retry logic. In this section, you will learn the difference between retry and repeat operators in RxJS. Also, I will tell you how to implement retry logic for observables that failed on the first try. After that, you will learn how to make repetitive actions with RxJS repeat operator using the HTTP request example. And then, we will review how to code more complex retry and repeat logic solutions by using retry when and repeat when operators. There is one essential thing to note just before we start. It is important to understand the difference between repeat and retry operators in RxJS. Both operators allow you to conditionally resubscribe terminated source observable they were applied to. It means that source sequence will be restarted. The only distinction between these operators is that repeat starts acting on source observable successful complete event, while retry is triggered by on error event. With that in mind, let's start the first lesson. Redo error HTTP request with retry operator with one line of code. As you already know, Retry operator waits for source observable to be errored to trigger its action. So, for example, if we use RxJS AJAX function to make HTTP call and server returns some error, we can redo original request for a few times before propagating error message to subscribers. And in case one of these attempts is successful, subscribers on next handlers will get this success response data. The only param for retry operator function is count, the number of retry attempts before propagating error to subscribers, if they do not succeed. Here is a code sample for dealing with unstable network connection. We make observable rapid AJAX call and use retry operator. In case first AJAX call will return error, retry operator will redo AJAX request three more times. If one of these attempts is successful, it will provide data for on next subscriber callback. If all three additional attempts fails, then error will be propagated to subscribers on error callback handler. Here is a diagram how this code works. We sent observable rapid agent request to the backend and got error response. But since retry count value is 2, we will try two more times to resend it. So operator function will send AJAX requests again, and this time it is successful. Our on next handler function will be run. In a code pen, we have same example that I described in the slides. And if I run it, in a code pen, we have same example that I described in the slides. And if I run it, in the network tab, you can see that we have initial requests failure. And four more failed requests done by retry operator. The final failure message was delivered to on error handler. But why they failed? Because we didn't start our mock backend. Let's do that. To start it, please check out respective branch in Angular project. And here there is a server.js script. We can start it with node. Our mod backend works this way. First, it fails a few requests and then responds with success message. Let's check how our code pen example works now. As you can see, after a few failed requests, 
we've got successful response and our on next handler was run. To wrap up this lesson, retry returns an observable that mirrors the source observable. If source calls error, this method will resubscribe to the source observable. It means that source sequence will run again for a maximum of count param value resubscriptions. If one of the retry runs succeeds, event data will be provided to on next callback handler of subscribers. If all retry runs fail, error will be propagated to on error handler. One of possible use cases, Ajax failed request retry. Now you can use retry operator for unstable networking calls or some other error sequences rerun.